Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Lords of Shulima. We are once again in Vilak, and uh, well, we're fully rested. Oh right, we can actually start with a level up, two level ups, because I had a minor random encounter on the road. Uh, so speed and energy, yes, seems good. Eight skill points. Oh, she's at nine learning. So next, it's gonna be another three percent. Okay, do I just keep investing in learning? I don't know, it feels... It feels wrong, but I mean, we're gonna max it out eventually, and then... Did I ever check how much bonus experience that's gonna be, actually? Hmm. I mean, I, I guess I'll do it. That seems... Another 3% seems pretty good. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Hmm. Not sure what's going on with the numbers behind the scenes there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get the meditation for one. That's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, actually, wait. Oh, the fireball. Um, the cost goes up by eight points, though. Yikes. Um, its damage isn't super amazing, though. Right now. I do like Blizzard. New skill next level. End of Flames. Wait. An aura of cold emanates from the caster. Oh. That makes sense. That makes so much more sense. It, that being said, it costs 30 PP. They really want to make sure that we don't use that ever. Like, what the heck? <laughs> the scrolls cost 500 gold plus. The spell costs 30. Ugh. Come on, game. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I might still get it. It's at least not super cheap, uh, not not super expensive to, to buy. I guess it's just as expensive as anything else. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could improve both Fireball and Blizzard, both of which I do regularly use. Um, yeah, I mean, why not, right? Object identification, I could do that, but... Oh, I never... Wait, I never got immunity for her. Oh. Dang it. I know I want that, though. So, is it Fireball or Blizzard? Damage increase is actually not too bad. And at least the cost doesn't just explode. Like, Fireballs are already expensive. Going from 30 to 38, like... Holy crap. Who's supposed to be able to afford that? Yeah, but we're gonna go with Blizzard here. Sure. Um, yep. And you. Speed and also more energy, I suppose. Sure. Um, you definitely need, need the extra learning here. Okay, what can we do usefully here? If only I could just remove the points I spent on Razan and Golot and invest them into maybe another ranged attacker. Bow. No, wasn't there like a spellcaster hit? No, that's... Hmm. I guess this is supposed to be our frontline tank, but honestly, um, uh, Herald of Velvet is just doing just fine. He's... Definitely tanky enough, and I do appreciate, very much appreciate his ranged attack style, which, you know, does not limit him to just the enemies he can reach in melee. In fact, that is a huge advantage and almost, really almost necessary to make, to make a summon fully viable. If you could freely reposition your, your units, at, you know, even your summoned units, that would be nice, but you can't, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Fenrir was... Stun relief. Yeah. Wasn't there like a... Hmm. I thought there was a like a spellcaster, a straight up spellcaster. I suppose Velvet is that kind of? Like a combination of archer and spellcaster? Yeah. Okay, anyway. I guess maybe there isn't really a, a tremendously good option. Uh, Herald's Destiny. More duration. Powerpoints. More life. 
speed and initiative. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of want to unlock this. Sure. And then more health, maybe? And I, I also do want to improve um, well, all of my, both of my summons, I guess. Especially the healer. But the next level up is not even going to increase her her healing spell. So, eh. I'm going to start, have to start investing in it, or, you know, invest more in it at some point. But, I guess not now. Anyway, that's, um, uh, that is that. Now, what do we start with? We got, I mean, I want to try... I want to confirm that this guy really cannot be defeated right now. I think that's the case. But I need to confirm, of course. We can absolutely deal with these imps that are blocking the path to whatever this place is. Which is really basically my only hope at this point. And then there's this group. That might just be too much, honestly. But... It is the, the fastest to reach. Maybe I should give it a shot. If we can defeat them, they're only, uh, you know, blocking access to extra loot, which might just not be good, but I still want it, of course. Needless to say. So. Aura of healing. That was, thankfully, enough to top us off. So let's give this, give this a shot. We obviously need to deal with this guy first. Okay, our healer is immediately silenced. That's great. Fantastic start. Oh boy. Tabruz. Zoskura. Just normal girlfriends, but they are annoying. Anyway, ugh, terrible start. Actually, even more terrible start. You literally sucked mana from the three people that matter. <sighs> okay. I could relate. Re re relate? I can relate. I uh, can also reload immediately. Honestly. I feel like I almost have to. Because how are we going to salvage this one? I feel like... I feel like this fight is bad enough. You know, it's dangerous enough that we need luck on our side. Also, this guy... Has this guy always been this tanky? Like, what the heck? We're not dealing any damage to him. Keep yourself alive, I suppose. Keep freezing them. That helps a little bit. Except, never mind, now Ayala's dead. Oof. I guess the, just the blizzards are eventually gonna kill the Garfins. I suppose that's, uh. That's a shimmer of hope there, but man. Uh, yeah, load quickly. I'll give it a, another couple of attempts, but. Okay, I mean, a, a crit is much better than a, than a miss. On the first attack, that's for sure. Okay, first those guys. Doesn't really matter because we're not gonna attack them. I guess you're gonna, yeah, gonna start healing yourself. We definitely cannot take this too lightly. Well, and there she goes, getting silenced again. Oh, that's that's not bad. We're definitely gonna. Ooh, threw a critical shuriken at you. Take all the advantage of uh, of the frozen status there. Okay, good. I mean, they're they're bleeding very heavily. Yeah, in fact, they're basically dead at this point. I could make sure that they don't get to do anything else. Or start working on the uh, the other enemies here. I'm gonna risk diversifying a little bit. Critical fail. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh no, of course they sucked. I should have killed them. There was no guarantee that I was gonna that I would hit them, but you know. I mean now they're surely they're gonna take the next um, damage over time hit before they get their next turn, so we can start dealing with this guy. Keep healing yourself. Summon Nimona. Ouch. Okay, uh, I guess 
No, this guy is frozen, so we obviously attack this one. Okay, that one's finally dead. Bleeding cure, thank you. Uh, hit the girlfriend. It's not even dead. Of course not. Well, the next blizzard, if I choose to cast one, is gonna take care of that. I what now? Oh, she's... I hate that. It's on me because I forgot that she was silenced. I was trying to heal, so I hit the hotkey for healing, then I clicked on Galen. But instead of just uh, giving me a, an error message or even a you know an error, error sound or something, it just ignores the hotkey while she's silenced and just uh, you know immediately switches. <laughs> That's yeah fair I guess, but oh. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. First girlfriend finally dead. I she should have healed herself. I'm not don't, don't know what I'm doing here. Clearly. Um Sure again. Good. Always so worried that it's just gonna miss. Oh no. Okay, good. Any damage that the party doesn't take, I'll I'll take. What? Oh, she's out of mana. That's wonderful. Well, I mean, if, if there ever was a fight where we need to use our resources... How much does this heal for? 20. Uh, I mean, that's better than nothing. 80% hit chance. Okay, good. It's a crit 2. Do you heal yourself? What? Oh, yes. If I press the right button, you do. Ha 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 Just hit. Yes, please, no. Howlin. Swap places with a Yali? Ooh, I don't like this. Someone's gonna die. Uh, you can do this. Okay, good. Nice, finally took out the other annoying imp. This guy's still frozen, so... Huh? Down to 12. Will they stay frozen long enough? Actually, can we tell? Wait. Can, can we? Oh, hold on. Uh, three seconds, yeah. So they should still be frozen by the time Galen's turn comes up in one second. So he will finish him off. Her off, whatever. Um, which means you can do one of these. Yeah, you can finish them off. Wonderful. Oh, God. Throw another shuriken and hit, please. Thank you. Okay, good. Good call. You can swap over here. Yep. Nimona's gonna... ...go up pretty soon as well. Throw another shuriken, come on. Just just do it. Just get this over with. Keep him alive. Please hit. Thank you. There goes the healer. Hmm... Okay, good, good. Oh, he's still alive. Somehow. Oh, wow, okay. That was rough. Worth a lot of XP. I mean, that's the least... The least they could have done. It's, uh... It was that final level up here. What? Oh. I don't know why I was briefly confused there. I don't just... Ignore me. Um, en energy. Energy? Hmm. I mean, each point of energy isn't really doing much. Let's, no, let's instead make her a better fighter. Maces and hammers? Oh, she's only, she only has four points though. Why does she only have four? I guess probably because whatever bonus points everyone else had, she already used up. For her previous level. Still, 
Uh, learning nine. I would so like to give her that extra level here. She really needs it and deserves it. But I also really want to improve the aura of healing. That desperately needs a buff. But that's all the points. God damn it. Remove poison next. I mean, okay, sure. We already technically have access to men bleeding. Man, learning new spells is so expensive. Yeah, stun relief costs five. It's more skill points than you normally get for a level. That's so crazy. Actually, remove poison as well. Holy crap. Okay. Um. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I'd love to get more power points. I'd love to get more weapon skill. Needless to say, but. Um. Yeah. Obviously, if I'm gonna invest in learning, I need to do it sooner rather than later. And I really need to, to buff that aura of healing. It desperately needs that. I guess uh, her healing spell is already maxed out, huh? Hence why it's not in the list anymore. Yeah. Okay. So that's not going to get any better, but uh, the aura still has some room to grow. That's good. And we're going to... That was uh, pretty close there. Pretty close call for, for Galen. Um, actually, we don't need to use aura of healing at all. Just make sure that everyone's doing okay. I mean, really, I'm just gonna head back out and uh, and rest again. Or, you know, not completely out of this place, but back to the entrance, basically. Okay. Summon Herald of an Alliance. Well, I mean, that's good. That's what I was going to learn anyway, so thanks. For once, we actually get something useful here. Thank you. Um, that's actually really nice. Definitely saving that one. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of nuts. I might fail this one. Hmm. Come on, why didn't I click when it was green before? Okay. Jeez. Did I just. Wait, no? I don't know. Come on. Thank you. Okay. And it's also locked, of course. Difficulty 20. There better be something really good in this. I kind of doubt it, though, but well, we'll see. Okay, we gotta. 20, 20 tile path. I feel like this is probably too short. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's way too short. So it has to be this long away. I guess it's... Never mind? Oh, of course, it's gonna take this detour. We've got a couple of choices here. Okay. Well, it has to go up that way, right? Still 13 remaining, yeah. It has to be. So this is... Guaranteed. In fact, yeah, there's... There was only that one way, and it's only one item, and it's... Bristinium Sheet Hero Gloves. Okay. At least the enchantment is decent. Strength, con, and agility. We might find a use for that. Surely. Oh, yeah, I mean... It's definitely better than this. And it, he would benefit from some, some more constitution, at least, if nothing else. Okay. Actually, these are just straight up better than what he has, surprisingly enough. Armor is the same, just because they're, they're so much better quality, and they're actually less weight, so, okay. It's maybe not the most exciting upgrade, but it's, it's an upgrade, can't really complain there. Okay, uh, yeah, no, I think I'm gonna keep his gloves for sure. It's definitely also a decent upgrade for her. Oh. So let's see here, Galen would be gaining no armor, one strength, one agility, three constitution. Of course, constitution is arguably most valuable in the front row. Uh, what was it about her? 
Oh, right, she has energy. Mm. I mean, honestly, that doesn't make that big of a difference. Right? I mean, 133 power points to 127, yeah, 6 to per point of energy. <clears throat> but that would bring her hit points up to basically Galvin's level. Plus extra strength and cons and agility. Which she can definitely also use. Oh yeah, I mean, look at her strength compared to the other two. Oh, actually, Galen has better strength than Oran does. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Okay, anyway, yeah, I guess... I guess I'll do that. And the energy is... I mean, honestly, she could use those. She wouldn't be losing out on on armor either. They would be, once again, a bit more lightweight. And she'd basically, effectively, only lose some constitution. Which would make her the weakest in the party. Hmm. What am I talking about? Actually, well... No, I'm still gonna give... Oh. Really? The, the encumbers? Wait. Am I dumb? Huh? Oh, the extra points of strength. That made a difference. The extra two points. Damn it. <laughs> Even though these are one less weight. Okay, well, in that case... Congrats, Gaspar. <laughs> you get that upgrade. It's just that I don't think these uh, couple of extra points of, of mana make a real difference because it won't allow him to summon more. It might, I don't know. I'm just too lazy to do the math. Either way, we got a decent upgrade there, so I can't really complain. Was it, was it worth fighting these oh. demons for? I mean, hardly. Although we did get an, a free level for our healer summon, so oh. that's not nothing. Yeah, I'm just gonna oh. head back out for now. Save for some reason. Uh, short rest. Okay, get rid of all the wounds and everything. That bush hasn't respawned, but that's okay. We're definitely not fighting those. Thank you very much. Just taking a beeline for down here. Okay. No matter what we're gonna fight, obviously we want to we want to be fully healed like that. Save that, and we're gonna check what we're dealing with here. It is in fact a Morgulos with fifteen hundred health. We're not gonna kill this thing. Oh, or are we? No, surely not. There is no way. Apparently immune to wounds. Not immune to bleeding. And it is resisting a lot of our damage. I mean, it can be stunned briefly, but it has so many hit points. I don't know, it might just be... No, I mean, it hasn't hit us yet. We got super lucky with that first attack. But this is the exact same enemy as those the ones to the north. And they, we, we've seen them deal like 90-something damage to Oron. There's just no way. Yeah. It's, it's honestly taken some pretty promising damage already, but I mean, I don't know. I say that, but has it really? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna, yeah, definitely start healing here. We won't be able to keep up with that either way, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Maybe I should, maybe instead of uh, shocking, I should be going for it. Stacking and burning damage. Probably should have been doing that. Would be nice if we could apply some wounds. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Wait. So the multi-hit attack isn't even... isn't that bad. 
deals way less damage than the single target. I guess that makes sense, but... Huh. Uh, could you maybe... Deal with the, the bleeding, Nimona? Brutal. He could heal himself, I guess, but we also need him damage. Need him damage? Yeah, we need his damage. So. More shurikens, please. More bleeding. And now what? Keep yourself alive? Heal Oron? But what about the bleeding? It's, uh, and Nimona is not gonna cure the bleeding while, while they're missing so much health. It's, uh, it's a bit of a problem. What can you do, actually? Usables, consumables... These are only, uh, target self, of course. Healing self, magic items... Cure wounds, meant bleeding, okay. Hold on. Um, save the healer first. Whew. And he bled to death. Crap. That's not good. Obviously. Oh, nice crit. And okay, they're not immune to wounds. They're just very resistant to it. To them. Oh no. Do I try to heal Gaspar? There's no way though. He's just dead. Just. Uh, yourself. I'm, I'm gonna try to move him out of the front line, but... I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna bleed to death. <sighs> nice crit. Can we actually make it? Attack. Oh. Goodbye, Ayali. I guess it's... I was considering using another Mending Scroll uh, on her with Gowlin. Uh, well, on Ayali, that is. I guess I'm glad I didn't, because it would have been a waste. She would have died either way. <sighs> Retreat. Oh, no. It's the blocked shuriken. Thanks. Oh, nice. Thanks for the bleed cure. I mean, he's bleeding for 82, burning for 22. That might. That's probably actually enough. I think we're gonna defeat this one. But man. Unless we get super unlucky. No, that was a, a nice block there. I think we just keep attacking at this point. She goes. Oh no. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I mean, that works. A Morgulos nail. The sharp claw of a Morgulos. It's, uh, it's an appreciated trophy due to its muscle development properties. Oh, improves constitution by one. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Huh. That's nice. I really did not expect to defeat this guy, and I'm not sure if we were supposed to. That was a rough fight, even just against one of them. I mean, clearly we were able at this point in the game. One was just barely doable. Three, obviously, are completely ridiculous for quite some time. But what does that mean? Could this possibly be the expected path? That was so much tougher than anything we've we've had to face like you know it's it doesn't even compare to the to the laughable final boss of the of the second temple right which was the last um, major story fight that we had to do so it, it definitely doesn't feel like we were we we're supposed to like this is the the next thing we needed to do you know I guess we'll see but I also don't see how this path could potentially could possibly lead to progress. I know I was talking about that cave possibly connecting somewhere, but I don't know. It, it wouldn't, you know, logically it shouldn't connect anywhere useful, so I don't know. 
Unless we find a teleporter in there that just magically moves us to the other end of the map. Which would be nice, but it wouldn't be logical, so... No reason to assume that. Anyway, we are not in great shape, so we are definitely just out of here. I mean, slowly but surely we're um, making progress Greetings. of sorts. And getting that demon out of the way was definitely unexpected, and that's definitely huge. I don't know if it's going to end up doing anything for us. I mean, it's possible that past that thing, the zone begins where we just take, uh, you know, dozens of damage per tick instead of just, you know, less than ten. But we'll see. Welcome to my store. Thank you, thank you. Right, we can get rid of those things, and we can um, hammer of the destroyer. That is the exact same type of skill book that we had before, right? And that I ended up selling because I just wasn't ever going to invest in that skill. I'm 98% sure, which is good enough. Um... One of those back. No new shurikens yet, actually. Okay. And we did break your lockpick, so might as well restore that. Um, flight heal, cure wounds, remove poison. Hmm. Healing cells. Um... I guess instead of healing cells, I'm... Uh, but the, the even Light Heal 5 doesn't heal for nearly as much. Okay, so healing cells are better in that regard. They're also heavier and more expensive. A lot more expensive, actually. But that's partially because they don't actually sell any healing self too. And 50 hit point restoration is still pretty... Significant for where we are at in the game. Hmm. Well, we still have some, Goodbye. so I don't really need to buy anything else here. Um, this item, though, where is it? It's right here, Morgulaw's Nail improves con by one point. I mean, since, as to my knowledge, there isn't any like alchemy or any other usage for for items like this. I see no reason not to just go ahead and use it. So, who needs an extra point of con? I... Oh, did I not? Oh no, I was going to reduce her... her constitution by switching those, uh, those gloves, but I ended up not doing that, so... Hmm. That leaves Kaspar as the lowest hit point character in the party. That being said, he's also the one who I care about the least, even if it pains me to say it. So, I don't know. I mean, generally the, the back row is doing fine until the front row isn't, and uh, the back row becomes the front row. So, I'm not that worried about any of their survival, honestly. So, maybe I'm just gonna... give it to our healer? Sure. That being said, items are used like this. Yeah, one point of con. 169. Okay. Sure. Um, food is technically looking okay, and I could go ahead and just harvest some here. That hasn't regrown, but the other have. I think I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, you know do my usual berry picking route but off camera and I'm gonna make my way back to where we just fought that demon basically and we'll resume from there all right and we are back here doing fine in terms of food and everything of course we took another hit I was actually kind of expecting that just as we started the encounter so not ideal Okay, so we got two of the tougher ones here. I guess we start with those. Not a great start. Hmm, yeah, they cause burning. That's a problem. 
we'll see how much of a problem. But I mean, we defeated that big demon, so obviously... Obviously we'll be able to deal with these. It sure would help if we could not miss any attacks, you know? Blizzard, not a single freeze here. That's rough. Oh no. Oh, the fireballs. Oh god. We keep missing these guys. We can't afford to do that. It's just... Uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna try to start healing here, but everyone's burning. It's, it's rough. It's not like there's any way to prevent that from happening either. It's just... There's no, no dodging those. Uh, okay, this one, this one's gonna bleed, but... When? This is gonna bleed quickly enough. I don't know. I'm gonna shuriken this one, though. <sighs> of course, it casts another fireball before dying. Oh. Help. <laughs> Nimona, please. Healing aura, please. Okay, crit, that helps. Um, it might be too, too late. Not too little, but too late. We'll see. Oh, that, that being said, the thing is almost dead. Actually, it, it's probably going to die before it can do anything nasty. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely dying at this at this rate. Okay. Oh, man. Ooh, that was good damage. What the heck? Good job, man. Now just please... End the encounter quickly before we take any more damage. Critical fail. Gal and Y. Can't do this. Uh, actually, yeah, just move over there. Not sure that it matters. Okay, well, it didn't. Whew. Okay, but we did it. First try, that was worth a good amount of experience, too. And, yeah. I guess all in all, that went better than I first thought. Oh. Sorry, man. You, uh... You're gonna have to just, uh... Survive, somehow. Uh, Song of Fear, yeah, okay. That's great for selling. And... A silver profit ring, plus 5% XP. And that's it. Literally just some extra loot. Hmm. So, we were really supposed to... Okay, yeah, he's dead. That's, uh... That's okay. It's not great, but it's fine. Oh, wait, it's not fine. And this is where the, the death area begins. Oh, no! Worst case scenario. What the heck? So this was never actually the way forward. The game was just, I don't know, keeping my hopes up, only to crush them once again, because there is no way past here. It's so close, you know, we just have to make it to here, well, technically here, I suppose. But there is literally no way past those demons. There is absolutely zero chance that we will defeat them anytime soon. We did not, in fact, make it to this cave at all. And, yeah, clearly, I was I was kind of joking. Or, well, not joking, necessarily, but I wasn't really thinking that right past this demon, you know, an area with, uh, would begin where we would take just tons more damage. I thought we'd, we'd have to make it somewhere useful. I mean, I didn't really see how it could possibly work out, because, you know, obviously by going around the southern edge of the, the Lake of Lava, we would basically pass through this area, right? And it wouldn't make any sense if we ended up taking less damage closer to the lake than right by this southern entrance here. So, but, you know, I was... I thought that this had to be the way, somehow. It would have to work out somehow. I guess not. So, 
Where does that leave us? Basically with just this guy here. Could that possibly be right? Am I forgetting about something? Is there something... I'm basically back exactly where I was last episode, or, you know, the the first draft of the of the, of the last episode. Where I'm just completely stumped. I was, once again, so sure that, you know, against all odds, this had to be the right way, and we were making some progress for a while, until... until we stopped making progress. Back to square one all over again. I mean, there's just no way. I checked multiple times that it... There is no way through Nagira. We're just gonna get hit by those random... or not random, those lightning strikes that will hit us every so often and will just destroy us. Right? And here, there's just this one narrow strip of, of land, this narrow path, and there is this statue of Yule that is not going to let us pass. We cannot get close enough to it to interact with it, and it's just going to... it's just blocking our passage entirely. There is a message about Yule's dark aura preventing us or something, or the darkness being so intense. I tried the obvious thing, by the way, I don't know if I did last time. Um, just lighting a torch, trying... I tried going through during daytime and nighttime. It didn't make a difference. So, it's none of the very obvious solutions, at least, that you could try. Again, I, I did try getting a blessing from a, from a temple or from a shrine. And really, this shrine here is the only one that's close enough to, to be able to make it there in time, because they only last for eight hours, is it? So, I couldn't go ahead and, like, gather multiple blessings because traveling around the world takes time and the blessings will just run out. So that couldn't be it. And that obviously didn't work, so... Huh. I also did go ahead and uh, talk to some NPCs. I talked to the priestesses in both cities and the the guide character, the skill trainer, they didn't. N n nobody had any new dialogue. I did not go back to the golden woods to the hermit here, who, uh, you know, at one point pointed us in the in the direction of the next main quest step. But we have absolutely no reason to assume that we should randomly return to this guy, who's also, you know, very out of the way. We'd have to make our way all the way through the sleeping flower maze again. There is no quick way to him. And again, I have absolutely no reason to assume that he's going to have anything new for us. So... Huh. Does that mean that really the only option left is once again the stupid Guardian Golem here? That can't be right, though. What would that do for us? What business could we possibly have over in the... in the desert? I mean, there's technically... Maybe another town? I don't know. I guess the oasis could be a town. There's a temple, but that's gonna be closed off. Hall of Heroes, no idea what that is. It could potentially be useful, I guess, if we can make it there. The Tower of Time, sure, if we can make it there, and if it's not super high level. We could maybe get another artifact, but those don't do anything immediately for us. Well, I'm uh, very much open for ideas and suggestions. Uh, I mean, if I end up... I don't know, what, what am I going to do now? I'm kind of out of ideas. I really... I still don't think that the game would actually want me to defeat this thing. I feel like they're... like I must be missing something, but what could it be? Either there's just some way to make it past the statue after all, and I'm just being blind to the solution. Or it's maybe really not that obvious, but I mean, there's there there's a very limited number of ways to interact with the world, and I don't think you can interact with the statue directly. There is no path past. I really did check. So, 
I just don't see how there could be a path through there. I guess I'll double check Nagira, but I'm just not very hopeful about that. So I... It's been a little while at this point, but I'm pretty sure that I was relatively thorough. I tried for a while, and it definitely didn't seem like there was any way to make progress. We could not do anything with the tower ruins here, or with the village ruins I went through there and, you know, rubbed my face against a tree wall several times over. There does not appear to be any way through. So, yeah. Weird. Weird and unfortunate. So this is not the way. We obviously can't swim through the lava lake. Um, and this path is completely blocked off. Because I'm going to have a way easier time dealing with the stupid uh, Guardian Golem than I'm going to have with these three... Was it three? Even if it, Yeah, it was three. Even just two would be way too much. But yeah, it was actually three of these demons, and we were very, very barely able to defeat one of them. And we were... I mean, considering that past this guy is actually completely lethal, that completely confirms that we were absolutely not meant to defeat this thing at this point. So there's got to be something way easier to do, something way more reasonable, and I just don't see it. So again, any suggestions are welcome. Uh, if I, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here a little bit early because, well, obviously, I've been recording for a lot longer than just two episodes at this point because of the scrap one. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm ready for a break, and I'm just kind of out of options. I'm gonna try. A couple of things, perhaps, off-camera, but if I can't think of anything, I might just go ahead and, and look up the solution. It seems extremely silly. So far, I have not been, you know, stumped by just... Well, by, by anything, really. I guess the occasional puzzle, maybe, <laughs> that I... where I was just... I don't know, where I had extreme tunnel vision. That, that happens. But just the way forward, just what to do next, that's a first, and it's a bit troubling, to say the least. I was not expecting that at all. So far, it's been pretty clear where we could go, where we should go next, probably. But, uh, well, not anymore. So yeah, I'm hmm, at a bit of a loss right now, but yeah, worst case scenario, I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the solution. I, I kinda hate doing that. It seems like I should not have to resort to that at all. But, you know, uh, if I have to, I have to. The thing is, I mean, I, I say uh, comment your, your suggestions or ideas. The thing is, though, well, I guess do that either way. It's possible, of course, that by the time you do, by the time this goes live, I'm already going to have moved on. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, if I'm going to record something new before that happens. I could just wait, actually. But we'll see. Um, we will see. For the time being, I suppose. I thank you so much for watching. I hope, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.